welcome to a new video as you can see by the title of this video it's gonna be something very different something that I've never done before and I'm actually super excited to share my insight on this because it's something that I rarely talk about and I think it's really cool to listen to other people's stories and how they cope with anxiety so I wanted to film something about how to share with you guys how I do because then maybe you guys can like tag along or start doing the same things I do because I find these really effective um just five simple ways this is not going to be a super long video nothing like sappy it's just something to think about and something to consider to help you guys um I know uh, a lot of my friends that struggle with anxiety, different kinds of anxiety, uh, depression, anything like that. And once I figured out that I had significant anxiety, I started doing these things. Um, we learned them at PRC. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're like, what the heck is PRC? It'll be up in one of these one of these corners. I never remember which one. Click on that after the video is over and you'll see what PRC is. It's very awesome. It was an awesome program that I feel honored to be involved in. Um, and yeah, we're gonna jump right into the video and I'm gonna start with number one. Number one, my favorite thing ever that I started to do um, consistently since I got home from PRC is yoga. Guys, no matter if you're a male or female, this is amazing, okay? It completely relaxes me, makes me feel really good. It's nothing hard taxing on your body. You honestly can just sit there and just, ah, zen. It teaches you to you know, really control your breathing. And honestly, it feels really good because it's a good way to move your body. Nothing too hard, it's not uh, vigorous, it's not excessive. It's just something that makes you feel really good and it's not too challenging. Uh, there are different kinds of yoga that you guys can consider though if you wanna like take classes, which I'm hoping to get started in classes. I really wanna try aerial yoga. I know there's hot yoga. I know there's like yoga for weight loss, yoga for beginners, there's like, Guys, I know there's like a, like water yoga too. So honestly, I really recommend doing it. I just do it in my basement. I actually use um this web or well YouTube channel called Yoga with Adrienne. I absolutely adore her. She's so good. She has amazing videos. Uh, she'll be linked in the description because I totally recommend to go check her channel out, guys. If you want to start yoga, I recommend you start there because that's where I'm at and I love it and it just feels so good and uh, I honestly love her so much. Like I'm like she has so many videos. I want to like do them all. Like they're just so fun and they feel super good. She even has like she has like specific topics. So she has like yoga for social anxiety. Guys, that's one of the videos that I did. It was amazing. I honestly felt like really good after. There was like, there's like yoga to fill your cup, yoga for rebirth, which I actually just finished doing about 10 minutes ago. I hopped into this and I was like, we gotta film this anxiety thing because this is awesome. Like I just absolutely love yoga. And I really wanted to share that with you guys and I know I'm like really, really into detail on this, but it's just because it's really important to me. And I honestly find this so effective. If you haven't tried this yet, I recommend trying it. If it doesn't work, there's so many other options you can try, but this one is so effective for me. Number two, go outside. Guys, this is so easy. No matter how hot, how cold, how whatever it is outside, just, just get out, you know? Just even if you're like, have to gear up in snow boots, snow pants, a jacket, all that jazz, and just get outside and just lay in the snow, oops, <laughs> doing snow angels all day. Amazing idea, guys. I mean, honestly, um, I think that's a great way because you're getting fresh air. You get to not be cooped up inside where you feel kind of like dark and dim. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm sitting inside for a long time, my eyes are like, Ugh and I like start to like drift off and I like wanna fall asleep, I wanna lay in bed. Um, you know, I just don't feel like getting up and get moving. If you just get outside and you act, like just sit outside and just like embrace nature, <laughs> it's amazing. It feels so good. If it's super hot outside, unless you're like really heat intolerant, I don't recommend doing that, but you can go out there, like get some lemonade, get some water, like sit out there with your friends or just sit out there by yourself and read a book, go for a walk, take your dog for a walk. Like you can do so many things. And if it's super, super hot outside, Find somewhere where there's like a lake or a pool or a beach or somewhere where you can go and water and you're outdoors because that'll feel so good. If you have to go indoors for a pool, then I'd recommend that as well because at least you're getting yourself to move around. It just feels super good to just be outside though. So I recommend that 100%. That's helped me a lot to just like get some vitamin D. Number three, blah, 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 blah. gratitude. 
so simple yet sometimes we can't we feel like we can't do it we're caught up in the heat of the moment there's so much going on you feel like you can't list things you're grateful for just because there's too much going on you're like nothing's good nothing's good everything's bad i there's nothing in my life that's good well at least you can start with something like this i'm alive i'm alive you know i'm still here i'm still present you can start with something like that you can start listing things in your life that you have been through that have made you stronger you can list things in your life you have you can list things in your life that you love list things in your life that you want to start doing because then that'll also be some motivation guys gratitude so easy just get out a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen or whatever you want to write with or write on and just start listing everything you're grateful for that just kind of helps you'd be mindful, start listing things you like, and your anxiety just automatically decreases. You don't feel like there's so much pressure on you. You just feel like, man, I'll just sit here and count my blessings, you know? And it really just opens your mind. Um, you feel so much better afterwards. I started doing this and uh, I have it in my planner. So if you have a planner, start writing it like in your planner at the end of the week or at the beginning of the week, whatever you want, middle of the week, doesn't matter. Um, and just write things that you're grateful for because they make you think, they make you mindful and you start thinking about the good things in life instead of focusing on the bad, it gets your mind off of your anxiety and you just start thinking about, wow, like my life's good, my life's good. I might be having a bad time right now, but it's gonna get better, I'll be okay, I'll survive. I've been through this before and this and that and A, B and C, one, two, three, you know, but I'm alive and I'm doing well and I might be hurting right now, but it's not gonna last forever. Number four shift your focus do something productive that will make you not think about your anxiety one thing i i honestly it takes a lot of motivation to do is exercise so let's say that i'm sitting in bed just like listening to sad music like just yeah like i don't want to do sleep right now no <laughs> that's not gonna help i'm telling you if you need to cope with something shift your focus start reading start like i said going outside going for a walk and listening to happy music hang out with your friends do homework even if you feel like i really don't want to do my homework just motivate yourself to do it and give yourself enough time to get into it and then you realize like like, what was I thinking about? Why was I anxious again? You just need to shift your focus. I honestly really recommend either exercise or hanging out with friends because if you get in that environment where you're just focusing on that thing, like focusing on running or focusing on lifting those weights or focusing on your friends, you're not gonna be thinking about all the anxious thoughts in your head. And also, if you have those friends that are really there for you to listen, keep them because even you can talk to them about what's going on in your life and they will listen if they really care which i hope that they do because if they're your best friends and they care they're gonna listen to you tell them what's going on and let them share their stories if they have some give a nice hug to each other at the end and move on you know sometimes it's good to just get it out but really try and shift your focus onto something else even if you have to get it out at first do something fun do something productive do something that makes you feel good and number five, guys, my favorite one of all, and I swear by it so much. And before PRC, I was like, I hated when people told me to do this because I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I, I know, I know, I already know already. And it's diaphragmatic breathing. Okay, so if you're like, Allie, I try breathing, nothing works. Like it doesn't, like, okay. <sighs> Like nothing is going on, nothing going on here. Zip zero zilch, nothing. I'm telling you, you might be doing it wrong. It's very easy to breathe, but it's easy to breathe and think about all the bad things. Just, oh my gosh, I have to do so much homework. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm gonna feel my test tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I, I just realized I, I have to get my essay done. It's due tomorrow. Start thinking about all these things and you might be breathing, but guess what? You're still thinking. You have to be mindful while you're breathing and don't breathe with your chest. Breathe with your stomach. Like literally put your hands, if you need to, put your hands on your stomach right now. If you're doing, if you're watching this, put your hands on your stomach. Breathe in your through nose. Out with your mouth. You'll get nitric oxygen. Guys, what is it? What's the term? Nitric something. Yes, nitric oxide. Same thing as nitric oxygen, whatever when you breathe through your nose, but you don't when you do it with your mouth. When you breathe, oops. 
When you breathe with your nose, you get a little bit of air at a time, but you have a longer time to expand, which will slow down your heart rate, help you to calm down, and it'll fix all those thoughts going in your brain if you're really mindful about it. Don't focus on being perfect with your breath though. Let's say like you're trying to deep breathe and then you kind of lose it and you're kind of like, you gotta get back on track, that's fine. Just be mindful about how everything's going on. Breathe with your stomach, not with your chest. It's okay to kind of breathe with your chest too, but breathe more with your stomach because when you breathe with your stomach, you're gonna eventually have to use your chest because you have more lung capacity when you breathe with your stomach. You'll eventually have to go into your chest, but don't start with your chest and don't think about your stomach because that's just gonna mess you up. That's not gonna help. That's just gonna be you. Guys, I can't breathe any more than that when I use my chest. I want you to just try it. Just put your hands on your stomach or by your sides, whatever. Breathe through your nose and just expand the stomach. Let it like push out like you're like pregnant. Just let it push out, okay? <laughs> um, I swear by this so much. Um, if you practice it for 10 minutes, three times a day, your brain will actually perceive this and start to help you with not only physical symptoms, but emotional symptoms or your mental health. And uh, it's so weird, but I think it's over the count of like 40 days or something like that. It's, it's incredible. It'll actually reprogram your brain to think differently. So cool. Um, I haven't been 40 days just yet, but I've been doing this every day for probably a, a month. I think it's a little more than a month now. So I still have a little bit more time to go until my brain's reprogrammed, but it's so cool guys. Do that as much as you can, 10 minutes, three times a day. It's gonna help your mental health and your physical health, all your symptoms, anything. Just be mindful while you're doing it. Don't think about all the other things you have going on in your life right now. Just think about that exact moment and what your breath is like. Just let it guide you. Let it make you feel good. Don't let it stress you out if you can't get the hang of your breath. It takes time and practice. Keep practicing it and you're gonna get there. Practice doesn't make perfect, but practice makes better. So keep going at it and you'll get better and better each time that you do that. It's the simplest way, I think, to help your symptoms of anxiety, make you feel a little bit better, um, be mindful about other things in your life that you're not thinking about all the bad things. It's obviously gonna take time. You don't do this once and you're like, wow, like, awesome now i can live my whole life you're gonna need to do this every time that your symptoms come on i don't really recommend taking all this anxiety medication when you know you're just gonna have to be dependent on that if you're prescribed anxiety medication that's a different story but if you're like mom you got xanax or something like that no just listen to all the thoughts in your head and then just go poof, let them go away by doing all the things that I just told you. Or maybe you have another method that works just as well as this that you wanna share. And if you want to, comment it below because then maybe I can start doing that too and we can help each other out. You know, we can be a little family. But guys, this is so important. Um, all these things are important to me and it helps me so, so much. I swear by everything, especially the deep breathing, guys. Start doing that as much as you can. Um, even if you don't have anxiety, even if you aren't having some physical symptoms either, just doing it's gonna make you more mindful, it's gonna make you feel overall better. So, yes, guys, those are my five ways to decrease your anxiety symptoms. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's something really different, but I thought of it when I was doing yoga, and I was like, guys, I should share this with you guys because it works so well for me, and there might be people out there who really need to hear it. So, I mean, I know that there's like, I really needed to hear that when I first heard it. I was like, but at first, you know, I was a little skeptical. I was like, breathing? Like, I breathe throughout the day, you know? Like, I'm just living. Like, I breathe throughout the day and I feel like the exact same. It's just the concept of being mindful while you're doing it. I don't think about when I breathe. We don't go, okay, time to breathe. So, yeah, how you do? Okay, time to breathe. You know, <laughs> we don't do that. So, guys, I really hope you enjoyed everything that you, that I said today. Hopefully it works for you. Comment down below if you have some methods or uh, have tried these methods and they work for you. Maybe they don't work for you. Obviously depends on uh, the person or sometimes it even depends on your personality and uh, how you live life uh, and your lifestyle and everything. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.